this is a very vulnerable and scary thing to do to expose yourself in that way. Um, but he went for it. And I think like the, the reason I did that when you guys first uh, met you and Yayu, mm -hmm. I had them do these weird exercise, like really weird exercises, but it wasn't really necessarily for any reason other than to get them to start feeling comfortable doing weird yeah. shit, yeah. you know? So like I made them like staring to each other's souls. <laughs> Every time I want to like just prepare myself mentally for what Sundance is like, I look it up on YouTube and I never find any videos of it. So I had to rewatch that one episode of Entourage where they went to <laughs> and that was like the most like accurate representation of what it is so far. So, but since I've been here, it's been a lot of like, it's been a lot of partying. Everyone parties way too hard and I, I'm just trying to keep up and I've been sleeping super late, but uh it's been really cool because i get to like meet so many people like you know from what i've experienced so far as just genuine film lovers it's really cool and i yeah. love snow so you know this is for him it can nobody else can play this role yeah. and uh it was i mean it's very much like a collaboration it's not like i was like i want to make a film about this and then i need an actor it was very much and and we talked for years before we really landed on anything yeah i i'd say this is like the the calmest movie i've made they got the most contemplative. It's it's a, a bit more patient um, than my other films, but um, you know I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like I think you guys have to watch it, um, and then you know you can kind of decide for yourself. I would say this is this bit more experimental and artistic than yeah. my other films, um, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Sean, which is his manager, I've known since eighteen, told me the story about you and your dad going to Seoul for the first time. Yeah. And he told me some details that made me very emotional. You guys came and basically you didn't know really, it was like you're just starting out. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys didn't have any petty cash or something. Yeah. And then um, and then you guys are too kind of like polite to ask. Right. And then somebody found out like they didn't have any cash there. And, and Sean was like, what the, f like, why didn't they say anything? Get them some money and, and take care of them. But like, I don't know, just picturing the two of them in a, a foreign country that they yeah. don't speak the language and just kind of totally being out of place really was made me emotion, emotional. So I was like, okay, I think that's something that makes sense to me. We, that was a very, actually now thinking back on it, that experience was very similar to like me and Yayu in the film actually, cause yeah. uh, I was like still 16 at the time. I was yeah. very, a couple of days before I literally did my first show ever in Jakarta in like a small club and then I was going to Korea to shoot a music video and then my dad just like tagged along with me and we were both just super new to the country. Performing in my music videos and like having done that a lot would, uh, you know, like prepare myself for this. But I think it's, there's so many different things when it comes to acting because you're actually delivering lines, you're delivering information and you have to focus also like on the emotion and the delivery, the way you're delivering it. And I think I didn't do any of that in my music videos, you know, it was just very like, I'm just doing whatever the music makes me feel like, but with movies, it's so much more and it's so much like more to think about.